All right, guys, we're back on the blade today. We got uh, Kevin up here fixing one of my screw ups. I didn't right. blame it on him. I actually broke a bolt off in that hole, but what we're doing, we're cleaning out all these keeper holes. We got uh, all the holes cleaned out in the ball. We got the ball taken grease. Got these all cleaned out. Cleaned out where the pins fit in there. So in the other video you've seen, we put a new blade face on there. So we're gonna get this all prepped and ready. Kevin's gonna try to break the tap off. Maybe. That's what I would do. And mm. we're gonna mount it up on this C-frame over here. What I usually like to do is put the blade down on the ground, kind of like it's sitting, and I'll actually bring the C-frame down in at that one. Get the uh, ball all trimmed up and everything. So we'll show you that guy that process when we get there. All right, we're getting ready to set the C-frame down in this socket. I got the uh, ball all cleaned up, polished. That one I see is down in those holes. Kevin's gonna drop her down in here. Pull on up a little bit, Kevin. I go down. Pull up a couple more inches. That's good. We go down. Right there. Shut her off. So I got that sitting there where it squeezed the grease out. So now we'll get uh, our two halves over here. And we got a bunch of shimmies and bolts. Shimatos. Those are bolts. Potatos. You're going to teach them Spanish today, too. That's right. Door of the Explorer. Four. Quattro. I got four. Quattro. I'll put four in it and see what happens. Quattro. Oh, thank you. On your way, Bobby. Nah. You got the freaking man fluid on you. You're upside down. That little groove goes down in the hole. I'm seeing we need another shim over here. I think it's gonna be too tight. Mm. Mm. Or not. I think it needs one more, don't it? They always tighten down. They do the squish. Yeah, well, for the squish factor. Thanks for messing up my shim pad. Anything for you, boss? Yeah, it's trash, Randy. Uh -uh. Need a leaner? Uh -uh. Look at that, how strong I am. Notice I took the side with the bigger gap. Notice I touched anises and now everything I touch has anises all over it. And somebody will think it's one of these. I pull these bolts out, see? There we go. Alright, muscles. Let's see. I think we're going to have to do the one. Right. Yeah. 
No go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna try this. There you go. We're in. Did you get it? We're in there. In there like swimwear. Right. You got your wrench fit on those? You betcha. Snug a couple up and see what it feels like. So what we're doing now, we've got, um, I guess, five shims on each side. We're just going to snug one bolt up on each half of the clamp and make sure it's not too tight. We do have a couple more shims to put in if we need them. This is something on, you know, every year, every winter time, you know, a guy needs to pull a shim out as you get play. Don't wait till you get too much play and try to take them all at once. I need to out a little bit of time, but... I like that, uh... Is pretty good. Why don't you pick up with the forklift a little bit and we'll see. Go up and down, and we'll see how much play we have. You don't want them super tight because when they angle, they'll get tighter and whatnot. So he's going to pick up a little bit. Go back down. I think you're good, Kevin. Yeah, it, it's good. Yeah, go back up a little more. Got a little play, go back down. I don't know if we can take one out or not. Go back down a little bit more. From my experience, is when they angle to the side, they get tighter, so I'd say it's good. You gotta have just a little bit of play in there because when they angle side to side, they'll tend to tighten up, especially on the used ones where the balls get wore. You gotta make sure. If you get them tight and they're sitting straight, when you angle them, they'll get too tight. So we're going to get the rest of these bolts tightened up, and then we'll start putting cylinders on. All right, we got the C-frame and the blade laid out flat on the floor. Um, got all of our shims in there. The first thing we're going to do is put this uh, um, tilt cylinder in here. And the reason we do it first, because when you put this top link in, you can't get that pin in very easy. So you can bring it up from underneath, but... We're gonna put it in first and we'll probably put our top link in. Kevin's over here prepping up the cylinder. These are all brand new cylinders from Paint Valley Equipment. Made in America. 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 So we're going to um, put new grease fittings in. We actually had to clock this in. Um, so when it's in the, yeah, you got, it's upside down now. So you gotta get the grease fittings out. We can get a grease gun to them. So we had to spin that end. We're gonna get it stuck in there after we tighten those up and then we'll put the uh, we got to put bushings in these angle cylinders and we'll stick those in there all right i want to show you guys all these cylinders almost all these dozers have a set of i guess you call them misalignment spacers but they go underneath there um so when you're tilting the blade back and forth you've got clearance here but each one of these each one on the top and the bottom in there so kevin's putting the keeper New keeper in there, new bolt, all the stuff's from Paint Valley Equipment. Brand new pins. And this stuff's all metric, of course. So. But we're going to get this side in, and then the angle cylinder pin comes up from underneath, so these are split in two. So if you think this is one long pin like the old ones are not on these, like, 2000 and newer dozers, there's actually a keeper underneath there, so they're split in half. And the old ones are one big long pin, but... We're going to go ahead and finish getting this put in there, and then we'll put the top ones in. Alright, so we got um, that bushing pressed in there. We got those in. I'm going to do the last one here. We already put our snap rings in the hole there, if you can see that. Um, so we've got a place to stop to. So we're going to set this one up. Kevin's going to press her in there. Maybe. Maybe. 
you can do these with a hammer, but it takes a lot of beating and it's hard on stuff, isn't it? Okay. You got her. You always want to make sure impression on the outside of these bushings. You don't want to be pushing on that center part. If not, it wedges it tighter in the hole. So. Back it off, Kevin. It's going a little bit crooked. All right, try that too. Okay. We got that one all in there. We'll uh, go put the snap rings in it and then get these installed. All right, we got uh, one angle cylinder in. We're gonna put this other one in. We got that. So we got that one in. in it. Get this one in. We gotta hook the grease hoses up here too. We didn't do that in the last one. We had to pull it back out. Somebody forgot. Mm -hmm. So your two grease fittings up here. One greases this cylinder. The other one greases the lower pin on all these smaller dozers. in there first, huh? No. I'm not a big one. I wasn't planning on it. Hit it! This is my hammer. Right there. Right there. What you got? What say you? Spacer. Too far. Too far. Please use the same keepers as everything else are all the same part number he's got a lot of paint on we gotta tap him in so we'll get this side pulled over there and put in here next Put that camera right in your way. Thanks. Hey, sir.
Full sand. Beautiful. Oh, why do you want me to put on the hard one? I got you. Yeah. I got you. A real pal. Way over there. I'll try over here. <laughs> She's lined up. Like a glove. That's right. You got the ball. Let's go. There she is. Okay. Now what? Top link? Top link. Well, anyway, now we got the adjustable. Actually, the one we got is not adjustable. Pitch link. Sets the pitch on the blade. So, Kevin's going to get that. Sure don't look like I got pins for it, do I? Is that a party foul? A hammer handle work good, won't it? Mm -hmm. I might just have some in the back. Mm. I've got keepers and spacers. Hmm. Hmm. I got it somewhere. Hmm. We're gonna go look for some pins. Hmm. Okay, we got the top link on. We got all of our pins and bushings in. Everything fit pretty well. We did have to shave. Hmm one bushing just to click but all the aftermarket stuff in paint valley fit really well so now we got to uh we'll probably do a little bit of plumbing on the hydraulic hoses you know we'll, uh, go over there tie into some tees um and we gotta put a cutting edge on here and then we gotta take the v blade off that tractor over there we got a whole bunch of stuff going on in here right now so but uh we'll, we'll show you guys when we pull these pins out on the v-blade how we do that and get another one fitted up but i'm gonna do some line making here next so. all right so we got the adapter fittings that we're going to use in all of our cylinders kevin's got um if you can see that the t box there to tee off the angle cylinder so we're going to go um from the head of one to the base of the other so when you angle it one's pushing one way and one's the other so He's over here making a couple hoses. I gotta get you a 90 for that end. This should be it right here. So he's over here crimping lines. Like a professional. That's right. And there's your 90 for that line there. We got this one all made up already. It's with the John Deere stall fittings. Kind of nice having our own hydraulic shop, isn't it? That's right. We'll see if these fit. We're going to repeat the process about 10 more times. Which one do you want? You want in the back one? That might be seven eighths. Yep. We'll get all these tightened up, then we'll uh, show you guys taking the other blade off over there, and then we'll get this one stuck on there. All right, so we're getting ready to take the V blade off this uh, 650H, so we can put our new regular six-way blade on it. Kevin just dropped the retainer in the pit. You should have been. We'll, we'll get that later. Stuck. We gotta go down there in a second. So we're gonna pull these pins out and we'll probably strap that cylinder up. You ready? I got you, bro. You bungee master? I got one for each side. You don't think it's gonna go that high, huh? That looks safe. 
<laughs> sure does. Can I show you what a real man does here? Yeah, show me. You gotta pick up on the cylinder though. Oh. Ooh. Come I on. Got denied. Where's the real man? Show me where the real man is. It's not gonna happen. You sit when you pee. Get something else, Bobby. John Deere is real nice and didn't give us any room here. Uh -huh. Denied. Look out. You about knocked him over. Huh. Oh, I'd do anything to that work. Would you? This is the right tool for the job. That's right. You don't be a tool, use the tool. That's it. That's so all you got. Maxed out, bro. Maxed out. Put that in the grease. There you go. Look it up in here. Just my AC lines. AC lines. lines. It'll hold no. it. <laughs> Look at that. Plow. Okay. You got the other side to do. Hmm. Take off my cylinder hold it device. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got, you got it. No. Did you get it? Get back. Get back. Let me get my get back. small pliers adjusted. Why is it drawing in? Just how strong you are. You ready? Yeah, bro. That looks like a little better. Ah, Here in my location. Let's see. So we're gonna go down underneath there and try to pop those pins out. Sometimes that's fun. All right, so we're underneath the dozer here. We got uh, the backside of the C frame on the V blade. Kevin's gonna safety spray the first. camera. Safety first. Yeah. Safety first. Always. Safety so we're gonna take out these bolts here. Sometimes these pins can be a real pain to come out. So we're hoping that's not the case. Which one you want to try? This one. We're optimistic. I got it, bud. about did it. Oh, I did. You're scared, aren't you? Just nervous. No. Stage fright. Oh. It's actually moving. Now, I don't think that uh, pin will go out that way, will it? I need a measuring device. Meh, nah, there. <laughs> Negative. Huh? Nope. It's got another. It won't, will it? Nope. It's got to go out that way. Mm -hmm. So you know what that means. Mm -hmm. It's porta power time. Porta power. We'll take this bolt out over here. That's a fun time. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> Let me. Go ahead. So, oh, Milwaukee failed us. Milwaukee, we need more power. Hmm. You want to try the top side? Is it impact? Will you fit? Maybe. Probably can't. Probably can't reach it. Five nine. Yeah. 
you got the nut. Now, now bring the thunder. get some air tools. Mm. This is why all my Milwaukee stuff's broken. <laughs> We're gonna get air impact and get that loose and then we'll get our port power set up and we'll see what happens. All right, we got a little mini ram set up in there and Kevin's jacking it out super slow. <laughs> it's gonna take forever, but we're getting there. We've got some different length bolts and spacers. And... Hey, you went a whole inch, I think. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Bottomed out. All right. Regroup. Come back for seconds. We want another nut for now, then we'll do a bolt. Yep. Try that. I've seen these things in here so tight, you have to oxy lance them out, and that's never a fun day. You're doing a fine job. Feeling easier. Yeah. All right, nope, keep going. I thought you was out of stroke. Nope. There you now go. The Mega Ram's out. I'll get some of these bolts out of here. All right, try that. I'll put a longer bolt in there. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Are they coming out now? In. <laughs> you got a magnet? You got your little smoky links? I can't get my bolt out. Party foul. There's no need to fear. I'm here. Kevin's here. Oh. To save me. Super lip magnet. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, we need a longer bolt. Ooh. Oh, look at that. All right. This one's for sending it home. That's right. I don't think so. Look at you go now. He's just a trucking over here. Kind of feel like you can hit it with your purse and knock it out. That's right. Oh, you're out. We're out. Guess what? I'm stuck. My bolt stuck again. Ah! Look at that long bolt. Oh, you want a nut too? How about that? That's not a contraption. There she went, Bobby. All right, there's the pin. No, you're out. I got it. Back her up. Okay, now we get the repeat on side two. We'll get that one out. And then we'll, uh, Show a video pulling her off. 
All right, we got some bonus footage. We wanted to fix this before we put the rest of the uh, uh, blade on, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we got the track adjuster idler split apart. That seal was leaking. So we got a new seal kit. These things are super simple. Just two seals. This outside one's actually just a dirt wiper seal. It keeps the dirt scraped off. Then you've got the inner seal that goes in. Um, that lip the open side of the lip goes towards the front of the tractor so there's grease pushes on it, it flares that out tighter and then there's a little backup ring here Kevin's got so we're gonna stick that inside this tube here sure we are. or you are I'll try to do it one-handed here we go hold butt you dropped my seal sorry try to make me put it in backwards Okay. You're doing a great job. That's all right. Where's the backer upper? Back it up. Backer upper. Put this split on the bottom so I can see it. Look at them sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> They're helping out right now. Hard at work. <laughs> All right, give me the outside seal. There you go. Uh -huh. Trying to get me back for all the fun I make of you, don't you? Uh -huh. you? May have to have some more room here. Oh, uh, listen. You're doing a great job. I Keep need up more the room. good work. Keep up the good work. Hit it with your purse. Hit it with your purse. We need oh. more room. Or something else to we, hit it with. We ain't got more room. We're going to take a brief interruption. All right, we got our seals in. We got it uh, just barely started. We didn't take it all the way off the tractor, so it made it a little easier. Kevin's going to attempt to push it down the pull clip the rest of the way. We've got the grease fitting out of it, so it can blow air out past this so. Keep in mind, there's nothing that holds these. If your track comes off, there's nothing that keeps this either from coming off. It'll just fall out. So. Back on. Doing a fine job. I think that's it. That's all there is to it. We're going to put the uh, grease fitting back in it here so she'll be ready to tighten up when we put the track back on. Alright, so we got our hose all cleaned up and our pins cleaned up here. Kevin's bringing the uh, blade in right now. I'm going to try to get them lined up. And Get around here. I don't know if he can make it without. We have to move the track. We still got the track bust apart because we've got a uh, drive motor out of it. But we'll uh, get him lined up here and we'll see. I don't think he's gonna make it at all. We're gonna have to regroup. Probably get something different here. So we'll be close. All right, we got a forklift with longer forks on it now. Kevin's bringing it in. Need to go over that way a little bit. To your right. There you go. Come on in. Go over to your right a little with your tires steering. Straight in. Whoa. Why don't you go up a little bit? Gotta go up about eight inches. Keep going up.
ました Get that bolt tightened there. I gotta line up, spin this pin a little bit, get that line lined up, and then we'll bolt her up. Okay, we got the blade pinned on at the bottom. We got the top cylinders in. Only thing we like is plumbing the uh, hydraulic lines up. So we gotta figure out which ones which. I actually still got the color codes on them. The white, blue, and red. So we gotta get those over to here. And we hope it all works. That's right. That's right. We'll get those made up and see what happens. All right, guys, we got the blade on there. Um, as we showed you, putting it all together and everything. And we've now got a chance we can start this tractor up. We was doing some work to the back end of it, but we start this other thing up and make sure we got all the lines hooked up the right way and everything working. Sometimes it's a 50-50 shot whether we're going the right way or not. But we'll start up here and see. Sure we don't have any leaks anywhere. Let's see nothing. Nothing crazy going on. We'll check the valve body back here. Um, you guys like this kind of stuff? Um, comment on these videos, subscribe and like, like our stuff. Um, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, this is a, actually second part of this video. The first video, I actually put the blade face and stuff on here, so I have to go back and check that out. But um again thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time